Farm. Today we'll be making a 164 scale grain auger. For this you will need some scissors, a skewer, some little car wheels from like a little toy car, some secateurs, a hot glue gun, and a straw. Right, so step one is with a straw and this reel, you have to measure up, not including the reels, the little bar that holds the reels together. So this little bit here. So once you've done that, you easily cut that bit off and then what you want to do is you want to on one bit cut it open so it's got like a little lip like that there and then you want to measure that one and do the whole same thing again why i do it twice is to keep it a bit more sturdy and then once you've done that, you put it onto the reel. Like so. Once you have put these bits on, you can easily just put it to the side. Then, to get ready, you need to get your skewer and then you're ready for the next step. Right, now you have got your skewer. You can do it any size you want, like I've got it going through there. And you need to like kind of join it on the end, but we'll do that bit later. So you will um, need your secateurs at this point. And then just cut the bar. So I have them here once you've cut them and then these bits here this is when you first need your hot glue gun so you will get this out the bit I was talking to you about earlier the real part and then if you put a bit of glue around here and then what you want to do then is put your little bits on so it is like this and then once you've done that you will want to put a little blob at the end and put these two together so, you get this. So, this bit here now can go to the side. Now, you want to use your straw. You will want to actually cut it pretty high. Once you've cut it, with the hot glue gun, Put up the edge. Now be careful by holding this because this can get very hot. On both the edges, put hot glue. And then, with your second skewer, if I put this to the side, you will want to cut this pretty quickly because it will dry inside. Get the secateurs again. With the skewer and then you will want to pop the skewer inside once you have taken the end of the hot glue off i would like to say why i did this is because the straws are pretty flimsy putting a bit of wood in it makes the st stability better for um 
for later. So now we'll want to pop this to the side. Okay, the next step with your last bit of wood, you're going to want to get this again. And if it's dried like mine, you will need to get another piece of hot glue, stick it in the middle of the two pieces and stick your bit on there. And then if it does not want to stay up, leave it to dry for about five minutes. Okay, so once you have glued this pole here, you will be wondering what this is for. And of course this is for the actual, actual auger bit going up. We will be making the little spout later. But you will need to get the hot glue gun again. Glue on the edge here and up here. And then, as so, you will stick that like this. Whoops. But the last thing to do is make the spout. So, what you need to do to make the spout is you need to get another straw and as you can see it's got the little grooves for the bend now you not all of it but you want to like probably cut about half of here like so and then about there so you've got this and then you want to bend it like that. So you've got kind of like a tractor exhaust pipe. So then you want to get the hot glue gun again. But before you get the hot glue gun, just make sure that there isn't any leaking stuff there because if there is, try and get it off because I'm... Um, when you paint it later it's harder to go over with the paint so now we're going to put some glue down here like this and a bit on the top there so once you've done that you're going to want to stick the auger bit like this but once you're done on both sides with the little bit of excess you're just going to want to just like so to smoothen it for the painting and that will make it much easier for painting but more realistic for like a model farm so there that's really it You've noticed there's one thing I'm missing, is the little bit where you dump the trailer into and of course the hitch. But on this video I won't be making them because I um, haven't done it on my other one where I've made a little hitch. But it took me um, a long time and it was quite hard. So um, yeah, I'm not going to paint this one. But I hope you liked that. That was just how to make a 164th scale grain auger. Thank you for watching Henry's Farm. Please like and subscribe.